Duelist Nexus was a set that never really caught on. If you look at TCG Player right now, a box is about 40 to 50 bucks. And actually, these were on sale in Target. Normally, I wouldn't have bought 13, I think, of these blisters. But, I mean, they were almost half off. So, it's, it's kind of stupid not to. Like, it's a good time to open up any kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! product, right? And it also has a quarter century rare potential in each uh, blister. Still very, very rare. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open these up. See if we can pull a quarter century rare. Or at, le at least a secret rare. Like a nice secret rare would be nice. Although this set doesn't have a lot of nice secret rares. I mean, there's nice looking secret rares. But there's not that many expensive secret rares. So we'll see. The Crimson Dragon though is, you know like 10 to 15 bucks so that wouldn't be bad we got an infernable knight ricardito i don't remember any infernables being in here oh you know what no there is uh yeah the, there was an infernable either link or synchro something charles but i think all the boss monster infernables have charles in their name so <laughs> Maybe I'm just misremembering there. Synchro World, Signs of the Testina. Oh yeah, Testinas were in here as well. This is the first pack where Testinas uh, were introduced, essentially. Big Winged Berthamet, and then the Illusions were also printed in here. Oh man, you know, this. it wasn't even that long ago. Maybe seven months since this set was released, and I don't remember anything of it. Besides Crimson Dragon being in here. I don't, I don't even remember who the pack boss monster uh, featured a card is. Rescue is. This card never really took off, actually. Okay. All right, we got a Thelematech. Thelematech. Cletus. I don't think that, all, that took off either. So I, I'm seeing a trend here. A lot of stuff here. You know, it supported interesting archetypes or pe uh, archetypes that people have interest in, not necessarily me, but the archetypes themselves never took off. That's why. All right, so we got a Boki, Bochai, we got Giga Cannon, Giga Chad, we got another Re Her Ricardo, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to call him Ricardo, level one though, Tuner, all right, I mean, level one cards... Have been seeing a resurgence recently. I mean, even Snake Eye has some level ones. Infernable definitely has a lot of level ones. But uh, all right, we haven't seen anything yet. So did we get scammed? Did we get scammed from these uh, blistas here? Another Ricardo. That's actually interesting. Three Ricardos. No secret rare. No ultra rare. I'm trying to remember what there is actually a pretty expensive ultra rare. In the form of a something Yama. What, what is it? Unchained Soul of Yama. So we'll see if we can pull that one. Because it actually has a lot of potential with the Ubel stuff that we have currently. We got Magician of Faithfulness. Oh yeah, that's right. So it's basically a retrain of Magician of Faith. Except it requires to, uh, tribute. And it's... What is it? So you can target one spiller in your graveyard, edit to your hand, then you can special summon one Magician of Faith or Magician of Faithfulness from your deck in face down defense position. Eh, I mean, it recycles itself. Yeah, I, it's technically like a Magician of Faith archetype now, but it's just not that good. It's just slow. I can't believe Magician of Faith was banned, you know? It, it's just really interesting seeing how far we've come since old school Yu-Gi-Oh! and just how bad some of the cards actually are. And, I mean, also, so how good some cards still are. Because, I mean, Prohibition and stuff like that, Delinquent Duo, holy shit, those cards are cracked. But stuff like Monster Reborn, where, which was pretty, pretty broken back in the day, right now it's, like, slow as hell and kind of crappy. You can get an in-archetype Monster Reborn, it's a lot better. And offers like side effects in most cases. So we got a Manadium Torrid. Oh man, okay, so I, I'm kind of losing focus here. We need to pull a quarter century rare or a secret rare. We haven't even pulled an ultra rare. 
Maybe that's why these blisters were on sale. See, I I've also been kind of superstitious about this, and let me know if you guys think the same way. I feel like you get luckier with packs if they are printed uh, recently. So we finally got an Ultra Rare Hita the Fire Chandler. I don't think this is worth anything, though, but we'll, we'll put her right there. So, and what I, So what I mean by that is if the set just came out, right, the, the pull rates are just better. I don't know why I've noticed that, but it's just the way it is. And then if the, the set gets reprinted, then, especially back in the days when they had unlimited versions of, of sets, you had you have way, like, it's just suck your poles, man. I mean, that's at least what I've noticed since I was a kid. I don't know if you guys have noticed the same thing, but, uh, yeah. All right, so, yeah, they definitely didn't do an unlimited run for this. They did it for Power of the Elements, and I think they even, in that run, they stopped doing Starlights, or they didn't do Starlights. Um, so, yeah, maybe there is something to that trend that I've been noticing. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot about this. Yeah, so this is a de definitely a decent Ultra Rare. It's uh, about 10 bucks. Chimera, the King of Phantom Beasts. Again, it's like a, an archetype that never really took off. It did try to do stuff, but... Wait, was this the card that was being used in it, though? I think it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it wouldn't be a, somewhat expensive if it wasn't useful, right? It just didn't take off as much because it, it didn't offer what basically the snake guy stuff uh, was had, had going for it, right? You know, very consistent and recyclable, basically. <laughs> All right, we got Synchro Force back with the robot arm. Uh, what is, what's the guy's name? Armory? Armory arm? Armory something? Nice. All right, last pack. Oh, man. I mean, we got two Ultras, but... That ain't enough. All right. Now, would I gamble again, though, on these? I think it was like 40 bucks for all of these. So probably not. I guess it depends on how much I actually pay because I, I really did forget. We got Synchro World and Mirror Sword Knives. We got nothing in these blisters, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, I guess it depends. If it was... Let me do some quick math. So if it was like three bucks around per blister and I got 13 blisters, it would be around 40 bucks actually. So definitely don't think I would gamble again on a, pro on a Duelist Nexus at least. But if I see, <laughs> if I see these blisters on sale, but for, you know, I mean, Age of Overlord definitely ain't going to see that on sale. That Those sets, the blisters are gone, right? People bought them out. But if I see it for Phantom Nightmare, definitely going to scoop some up. Catch you guys in the next one.